We appreciate it. Now to an inspiring story that you'll see on just one station. A little boy, just three years old, battling one of the rarest genetic diseases in the country. Meet Liam tonight. When doctors told his parents he would need to get a kidney transplant, it didn't take long for a suitor with the perfect match to pull through. Caitlin McCarthy shares his brave journey. Liam Lefevre is a happy and loving three-year-old boy. He loves to snuggle. He is a huge, huge snuggle bug. So as long as you're snuggling him and you're, he's watching a Disney movie, he's content. His mom and dad, Keenan and Kimberly Lefevre, say he was diagnosed with a rare genetic disease called SGPL1. He got sick at eight months, but official diagnosis was around 10 months. He started dialysis at 10 months. Liam needed a kidney transplant. It was one of the earliest things they told us. Yeah. Um, the, when they brought him into the ICU and they intubated him, it was all hands on deck. Probably within a day or two, they told us that his kidneys were shot. There was no coming back. Liam received the kidney transplant here at Cleveland Clinic last week. His donor match, none other than his mom. I bawled my eyes out. <laughs> I had to call him back, um, but it was great. It was a good feeling. Liam's parents say he's getting bigger and stronger since the surgery. The one thing on Kimberly's mind before heading into the operating room was her son. Everybody was asking me if I was nervous or I mean, the whole time up to it. I just was ready because I knew it was going to help him. Kimberly is healing at home. Liam is still in the hospital recovering. They hope to bring their little boy home in a matter of weeks. We truly don't know what to expect from here but from others that we've talked to that have had the kidney transplant with this disease, he seemed in good health and happy, and we're just, he's four years post-op, mm -hmm. so we're ready. In Brunswick, Caitlin McCarthy, 19 News.